But I'm sorry, in a production like this, where people are paying good money to, to see something, this is not rocket science. <laughs> Welcome back, uh, and if you've not been here before, where have you been? Um, <laughs> no, we're Ian and Jane. We've been vlogging for the last 12 days, this is day 12, uh, about the Edinburgh Festival Fringe 2021. Uh, we've seen in excess of, I think, 20, I think it's about 25 shows now. Right, yeah, I counted yeah. them and I've forgotten. Yeah I, I, yeah. yeah, I think we're at 25 or 26 shows now. Uh, we're not stopping there, we're going to carry on after we leave Edinburgh and we're going to look at the online stuff, so there's much more to come. So if you want to subscribe and all that stuff, you know how to do it and ding the bell if you want to be notified when we post. Um, so this is show three of day 12 and this is the musical, it's, it's down as musicals and opera, comedy, oh. drama, it's not an opera, it's Sunshine on Leith, which if you may have seen... There was a film made a few years ago, which is very, very good. If you haven't seen it, you need to see that as well. But, so this is, and we were lucky actually, because it took a while to get to be able to see this. And this is one of the uh, unusual venues at Edinburgh in the sense that it's a car park. They've converted half a car park into a venue. And we have got a few things to say about that, but we'll we'll get on to we'll, that. We'll yeah. talk about yeah. it. It's the multi-story um, is the venue. Um, yeah, and uh, it's. It, I mean, I, what, what I will say first of all, and I did take some pictures, which I'm going to include. I did think the setting for it, with oh. the backdrop oh, of the castle, stunning. and you'll see in pictures, is absolutely stunning. Um, I mean, we did have a gloriously sunny. Evening, evening as you will see because it starts at half six yeah a bit chilly got um, chillier as the night went on a bit windy, a bit windy. um uh but we are looking so we've got a stage yeah. on on the we're not underground we were on the upper upper level bit. and actually even the underground wasn't under, underground it was still up to the elements wasn't it uh, yeah. true true and um, um and we've got the castle ramparts in the background, in the background and blue sky stunning. i mean you, you couldn't ask for a more fantastic setting. Yeah. So I'll just read the description. So this is by a company called Captive Theatres. Five-star sellout show returns to the fringe. I defy you not to be uplifted by this production. The joy... Ex, ex, and, and then what's that? The joy... <laughs> Shall I have a look? Shall I have a the look? Joy exclu I, I, I'm still learning to read. <laughs> the joy excluding... From these performance exuding. exuding the joy sorry, exuding. exuding i am dyslexic so hey -ho. from these performance is infectious and it is a pleasure to have such a significant local work presented at the fringe um and then we've got some already good reviews so it's it's it's, it's been around it's come back um, so can we talk about the positives first i think we have positives and negatives yes. i think we talk about the positives first right um can I, I mean, first of all, it was, people were queuing really early. So, I mean, we couldn't because obviously we came from another strip from another show. So get early. I mean, we, uh, what time did we get there? About quarter, it was half past six was the start. We got there about, about quarter, quarter past quarter six. Past, we, and we were, there was a massive long queue outside. Okay. So getting early, um, anyway, I mean, I have to say that we were, we were towards the back of the queue, really, but our our view was pretty good. We basically you're seated on two levels, yeah. so yes, you're closer to the stage if you get in because that's the one that they seat people first. But you're you're Looking then up, on, then you're on the like the ground floor, yeah. So the the stage is in front of you, but but you'll be looking up. Yeah. Whereas we were like parallel yeah to the stage um so we were further away but we but we were just indirectly so you could argue that we had a better view yeah. of the ensemble piece, pieces but it without sitting on either i 
we can't absolutely say that for no. sure. And you are guided to your bubble because they, they, they're scanning the tickets as normal. They are, I mean, although we are starting to see venues and we've seen venues today where you are actually sat next to somebody uh, because, because social distancing rules have changed. Yeah. But, in, but at the multi-storey, they are still, if you have, you're still in a bubble of two and, you know, you are taken to your seats mm -hmm. Um, by by an usher. Yeah. Uh, so, so they've got lots of people doing that. Yeah. So um, I, I mean, this is an important point. So we've become aware that um, different venues are doing different things. We were somewhere today where um, we were sitting on our usual block of four, where it's usually a two, a blank, and a one, um, and we were all four, and we did say, oh, we didn't know that you could do that, and this lady asked somebody about it and they confirmed that all social distancing had stopped and in fact we were then aware that everybody was, was sitting, sitting together so you were sitting with strangers yeah. in in blocks of four and yet yeah. then the next production we go to they're doing it in bubbles socially distanced so, so everywhere is still different so if you're uncomfortable about sitting next to strangers um you will find venues where that is the rule now yeah so you, you need to be aware of that yeah so um what were the other positives so the positives were it was a great cast fantastic cast um some um great ensemble pieces, pieces. really crisp dancing really great vocals good yeah. band good band i mean i did wonder why the band i mean and normally when you see a band on stage I sort of half expected them all to be in, I don't know, black or something. Mm. And they were all in, I mean, the guitarist had sun sh shades on the whole time and and Hawaiian shirts. And I didn't really know whether that fitted in. I don't know whether you felt that. I did notice that they were all dressed differently. I noticed some had sunglasses on, but they seemed to be the last people to get the sun. Um, yeah, well, that's so, a good point. Um, yeah. They were in yeah. the sun right until it, it dipped. Um, it didn't bother no, me, but, but I, I just know thought I, it was slightly because they were, they, when they were when they sat mm, down and they, they started playing before mm, it actually all started, mm, I just thought, oh, that's a bit. Mm. Could I, you know, yeah, they, were, they weren't a pit orchestra; they were at the back, it's full mm. band. Well, it was it sounded good to the music. Yeah, um, and there was some great solos. There were some great um, solos. There was one particular. All um, the voices sounded great. All the acting was great. The the whole ensemble cast, mm. the leaders and the, yeah. the guys in the back, everybody was and was course, really really good. The songs being from the Proclaimers are great, um, and their toe tapping, especially yeah. you know, the the walking. Yeah, five hundred um, miles. Yeah. Uh, but. And here we get we come on to the negatives. We were first aware of an issue when. And, and there are um, there are no you know spoiler alert because most people have seen the film. But having said that, there were four ladies behind us in the queue. And we got chatting to them, yeah. and at least one of the four had I'd not never, seen the, never film. seen the film. So obviously, you have throughout the um, musical, you have stage bits that fill you in with the narrative because they there is a narrative. There's a beginning, a middle and an end. Um, and a very, very important scene. Mm. Um, and spoiler alert, but it, but it's relevant. We yeah, have to tell you why. It is relevant, actually. Because there relevant. is a scene where the father um, discovers that he has uh, another daughter. An illeg the, illegitimate the, daughter. That he daughter. never knew about. No. And she approaches him and tells him, but her mic wasn't working. So, so you literally couldn't hear a word she was saying. So we knew what she was saying because we obviously because we'd seen the film, and and to be fair, I'm sure a lot of people went had seen the film, yeah. but we know at least one person who, who would who didn't have a clue what, what was going on. What was Luckily, her, hopefully, hopefully, her friends would have been able to yeah. tell her. But that's not no. the role of somebody going to see a musical, and. So you've, you they would... didn't fix it. No, they didn't fix it for a long time. So much so that when she came back on again, 
Or was it another actress? Was it the same actress or another actress? There was another, it might have been the same actress or in another role. Well, they came back yeah. on with the mic and the mic still wasn't working. And you actually said to one of the other guys, you know, can you, can you tell them about the, about the audio? Now, Jane did that completely off her own bat and, you know, and he did come back and tell us that they were, they were, were sorting it out. But I'm sorry, in a production like this where people are paying good money, to to see something this is not rocket science yes we know they're all dealing with wireless mics the easiest thing to do is have one stage mic which is uh which you could hand to her the minute it goes wrong mm. so that it's almost like there's no contingency plan no. for something going wrong because microphones you know technology will let you down anytime mm. and that was quite a, a crucial thing in this, in, in it, this well, it was a big, big part of the the story. Yeah. Um, and if you missed that and didn't know the film, then you were completely you didn't know what this this young woman was telling yeah. the father. Yeah. And that uh, you know because then that, that has consequences for the rest of the story. Um, I mean, and I think most people have been to productions or or seen productions where something's gone wrong with a mic. And within seconds, somebody's there giving them an alternative. So the mic, yeah. This didn't happen. Yeah. I mean, and it wouldn't have been great for it to, to, to have to hold a mic for that scene. No, but, but at least at least it wouldn't. I mean, people would people understand. You know, as if yeah. audiences are forgiving yeah. when technology lets you down. But but nothing happened. It's like it's like it wasn't happening. I know. And it's like nobody realized. You know. And but, actually, what happened throughout the production, the 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 levels were up and down and up and down. Um, and quite a lot of the dialogue yeah. was, was lost because mics, they were working, but you could hardly, hardly hear, hear it. Then you'd have a bit and you could hear everything. Now, um, I, and again, from, and a, it, from a, a, you know, having worked in, you know, music technology for decades, again, this isn't rocket science. I mean, the, um, one thing I will say is the, the musical, most of the musical notes, when everybody was singing, was fine. You could hear the band, the band was clear, it was well balanced. The ensemble pieces, when s most of the solos were fine, mm. there was the odd one. Mm. It was really the dialogue that wasn't loud enough. Mm. And when I looked at the, P the size of the PA, knowing that this is an outside venue and you are outside, did we say that you need to make sure you take a, a coat and a hat because yeah. if it rains, you're going to get very wet. Yeah. You know, everybody is outside apart from the, the people on the stage. And I know that you have to take into account things like wind and, and, um, and the ambient noise. It needs to be a lot louder from a dialogue point of view yeah. because quite a lot of the time, and they were trying to lift, they were clearly trying to lift the sound at some, at some points and you would hear slight feedback. Now that tells me that is an underpowered PA. Mm, yeah. Um, yeah, the feedback happened yeah, ooh, several, several times, times. Several times. I mean, and what happens now with digital desks, sorry to get technical, is that you can program the, the, the desk for each scene. That's how these desks work. So you roughly know what happens. And, and if you've been doing it for a few days, which they have, it's been running for a while now, and you've done rehearsals, You've, you, you can automatically go to what the settings are for the last, last good performance you had, if you like. And then you can just tweak it ever so slightly if it's a bit, if it needs to be brought up a bit mm -hmm. or, or down mm -hmm. a bit. That wasn't happening, really. Yeah. Um, so the, the, the sound quality of dialogue was pathetically poor. Yeah, it, it really detracted. Yeah. And it from really spoiled it. Really yeah, spoiled it. it. Did. And it, it did. spoiled what was an absolutely brilliant, and it would have been. For me, had it been all been perfect, a five star review. Yeah, I was expecting. You know, but it can't be, be. To be it blown be. away by it. Because, yeah, I mean, not only that, you have people not that far behind you walking on the street. Yeah, yeah. Um, so and you, you, cars. You, and cars. There was a lot of kids at one point running down the street yeah. and making a lot of noise, which is slightly distracting. I'm going to put some bit more lights on because we're looking a bit pale. Oh! And now we look very light. So, sorry wow. about that. There, there we, there um, we but, you know, and we're sorry to go on about this, but it was a big production. Mm -hmm. Let um, me tell you how much it costs. Because and... Well, how much were the tickets know, were? It's such a shame that 
because just nobody that it was just the the sound was coming and going i mean the big ensemble of bits were fine because obviously you had and, and anything that had more than one voice though there was one particular solo um yeah. which worked really really yeah, well yeah it did yeah um but the others I, I mean i began to think oh that's okay because there's going to be a lot of them singing so we will hear it yeah but in the bits of the story, the dialogue, I thought, are we, you know, they were, I'm sort of doing this thinking, well, I know the story, but I can't actually hear yeah, what's been what said. they're saying. And there was things like when somebody would come on stage and they would start their dialogue part and clearly the, they were bringing the microphone up as they were, so you missed the first part of yeah, what they say. Yeah. Because that happened would, time after time yeah, after time. because it would suddenly get better. You know, now... Yeah. Um, Again, that stuff shouldn't happen. I mean, and actually, this this production is only is is I think quite reasonable. It's seventy pounds fifty a ticket. But even so, at seventy pounds fifty a ticket, we expect it to. You know, we don't expect those schoolboy errors of of poor sound quality. No. You can get away with other things. Other other accidents. Other things can happen. But mm. you know, it's a musical, and when you can't hear the dialogue in a musical then there's something wrong mm. and, and it needs and fixing. Mean, and they were sound checking as we... Yeah, we, we, we could, were, yeah. So it's not like they didn't have, no, they didn't have a sound check. They did have a sound check, uh, so... I, I mean, don't... I did wonder... I'm, a, I'm assuming that they have to take everything down each night and put it back up rather than be stuck in that because there's other things going on in that in mm. on that space. Mm. So they, they need... They, they obviously need the time to actually do the sound check because it's it's, we're not saying it's a big cast. So it really is quite a big cast. But and it's you know any it, the sound check will that need to take time, and that's why there was still sound checking. So you need to check everybody's mic, but they need some contingencies for mm -hmm. for that for that you know, and it's a, the simple contingency is you know a handheld microphone on a mic stand on stage that can instantly be handed to somebody if their little mic goes dead. Yeah, yeah, you know. So we're sorry. We are sorry because this is our <clears throat> last, you know, like we said, show yeah. in Edinburgh. So we're sorry to have to end on that note. Um, and can we just uh, give a? Are you going to give a call yeah, out? Yeah, to, yeah, yeah, right. Can we just end by? This is a positive thing. Uh, can we just end by giving a special mention to Lindsay Devers, because we. <laughs> We've in a previous video to this, we talked about after, after party, party and five, literally just before this, five fantastic women. Anyway, we then and so there was like three quarters of an hour to get to um, up on uh, off Nicholson Street down to um, the multi-story, mm. which perfectly doable. Except that actually we only had half an hour because one ran on. Yeah, and. Um, so we're watching and then suddenly the character of Yvonne comes on. She's one of the, the lead characters. And I thought, I think she's just been in an after party. Anyway, Ian thought so too. We yeah. have double checked and Lindsay was in both back to back productions. So that so, is amazing. So she's finished with after party, helped everybody clear up because she was when we left her on the stage. Yeah, she was. She was still on stage yeah. helping everybody yeah. clear up bless her and then shot straight down to yeah. there she must have gotten a bike or a, i don't know how, how anyway, she got there anyway but she's got a great singing voice she and, was and she was brilliant in both and absolutely brilliant in both. and also she had a very scottish accent in after party yeah she's very english, english. in yeah. sunshine on leith yeah. and to be quite honest i couldn't have told which she had she was born in edinburgh yeah so so, so the scottish yeah. accent was her accent yeah um so yeah well done Lindsay. so um let's talk about the stars because like i said had it not been for the 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 errors yeah. uh the production errors can't blame the cast the cast was superb absolutely brilliant i i'm afraid i'm gonna have to give it three yeah i i yeah absolutely. so and, and we're sorry about that because we would really have loved to give it a five star review but they need to sort that stuff out, yeah. really. Yeah. Um, it is selling out. Um, 
So tomorrow's production 15, there's some st still some tickets available, it says on here, but I'm just, I've been clicking on some of these and when I click on them, on, uh, oh yeah, so there are, you can get some tickets for tomorrow, 16th, 17th, 19th, 20th, 20th and 21st are all sold out, it's on until the 29th every day, it's definitely worth seeing. Um, but make sure yeah, take a jumper you need a jumper and a, a coat. coat and a hat because um, you, you couldn't put a body up you just can't put a body because there's people sat behind you yeah um, um, I mean luckily like I say it wasn't raining um, but they must have had some productions where it's been absolutely chucking you must know have done. you know it does get a bit cold you know it's an hour and a half the last 40 minutes I've started to feel a bit chilly and I had a, le I had a leather jacket on well you know. I had bare arms yeah. for about half of it, and then I did yeah. crack and put my jumper on. So you need to take, make but sure was, you're warm. It was windy. Yeah, make sure you're warm. Yeah. It's easier to take something off than put it on. Yeah. yeah. Really. But definitely worth seeing, and I hope when you see it, you, you're able to give it yeah. five stars. So if you do go and everything is sorted, which I hope it will be, um, please let us know in the comments down below because you know I, this is a this is a show that deserves the best really yeah it, yeah it it really does and we really don't understand why that why it should happened. happen like that but you know, great cast yeah great cast great cast yeah. great singing great songs i mean you might argue that it might still have because i looked at the p it says the pa on the way out and i thought it was it was underpowered so there may may be that they can't solve these these problems without throwing mm. more money at the bigger slightly bigger pa or more speakers there's only yeah. there's only two speakers on either side yeah. Um, which is ludicrously underpowered for to throw the sound quite a long way mm. to the upper. It might be better to lower down, actually. I don't know. Cause well, we don't know. That, we don't know. We don't know. Um, so that's so anyway, maybe another that's, reason that's for getting yeah. there early so you yeah, can get, get on. Don't get lower down. Yeah. You yeah. Know. Okay. Uh, but they do serve food, serve drink. Uh, some people might find that a bit irritating. I wasn't that bothered, but because you've got ushers all the time, mm. you just you, you need to scan an app, scan a, scan one app to buy beer and cider, and another app for all the food. And then you, you know we didn't bother with that, but um, mm. but you can you can eat you can eat while you're watching it. Yeah. Um, but definitely worth seeing. So thanks so much for watching. Um, we will probably not be uploading any reviews tomorrow because we're on a train but on monday we will be looking at uh, at least one of the online shows i'm not quite sure which one now um no. i think we have to watch that one because it doesn't it's not launched until the day after so we have to review we, we, we've been given privilege to review a show from the pleasance or assembly i think i don't know i know i know you're in I, charge of all the i know and i just and i just didn't do any research and didn't look at my phone. Um, anyway, so keep watching. Let us know what you think. Uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.